In this movie, we're going to do a quick course overview of what's included in Crystal 11 for Beginners. Right out of the gate, we come out swinging as it were. We're going to create a basic report. This is going to walk you through step by step, and as you do, hopefully, you will learn. In this first chapter, Create a Basic Report, we're going to learn how to connect to various data sources. We're also going to get to know our data source as well as we report wizards, including tables, fields, and grouping and filtering. Next, we get into designing the basics of a report. This includes the crystal work area, grouping, filtering, inserting summaries, previewing, and exporting reports. In chapter 4, we kind of circle back, and we create a report beyond the normal basics. We delve deeper into the reporting wizards, as well as deeper into grouping data, inserting summaries, and understanding fields, dimensions, and metrics, as well as more select export and export activities. In chapters 5 and 6, we design a report beyond the basics. We talk about all the options, the grids, the layouts, the colors, fonts, and borders that are available to you. Also, we include charts, graphs, special field options, some design tips from an old pro. In chapters 7 and 8, we delve deeper into fields, dimensions, and metrics so we have a good fundamental understanding. This also includes how to create your own fields without having to depend on them being already pre-populated in a database table. Chapter 9, we'll discuss filtering data using AND, OR, or a combination thereof in what's known as your WHERE clause. In Chapter 10, we review the report templates that come with Crystal Reports. These are the kind of layout and design options that you can choose from if you find them useful. In Chapter 11, we talk about modifying an existing report. Many times, a report just needs to be tweaked slightly, or fields rearranged, or a field added. I'll show you how to do that in this lesson. In Chapter 12, we discuss the cross-tab reports, which is a great way to create a very quick report on the fly. One of the most common questions I get involving Crystal also has to do with its exports to Excel. So in this chapter, we spend a great deal of time explaining the ins and outs as the majority of Crystal reports end up in Excel. We give you the tips and the design features, if you will, that will help you with this goal in mind. From there, it's a simple wrap-up. There are lots of hands-on activities, assignments, and kind of show you how to do something. I find this approach works a little bit better than just going through a, let's say, the edit or file menu and explaining what every single option does. We try and base this on a goal. We're trying to create reports and we need them to do certain things. And based on those assignments, we go through the features that we need to arrive at that point. Well, gear up. Next chapter, we're going to be creating a basic report.